Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cooking Horizon by Taz. Today I'll show you how to make spicy mashed sardine. It's a very protein rich dish. Here are the ingredients that we'll use to make it. Let's start with one at a time. So first we have 3 4 teaspoon of curry powder, 1 teaspoon of paprika, salt to taste as you desire, 3 4 teaspoon of uh, coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 4th teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of red chili powder or cayenne pepper 1 tablespoon of finely chopped garlic 2 cups of finely chopped onions 1 cup of grated potato which I have soaked in water so it doesn't turn brown or oxidize One fourth cup of cooking oil, corn or vegetable, whichever you prefer. Four pieces of green chilies cut into half and fresh cilantro, which we'll finely chop right before adding. And a 425 gram can of bumblebee sardines in tomato sauce. We'll start with putting our pan on medium flame and let it heat up a bit for like maybe five seconds. Now we'll add 1 4th cup of corn oil to the pan and let it heat up for like 10 seconds. Then we'll turn the flame to medium low so our garlic doesn't get burned right off the back when we add it to the pan. We'll now add the chopped garlic and fry until it's golden brown. We'll now spread the garlic throughout the pan for even cooking and turn the flame to medium and closely monitor. You'll see the change in color and also the change in size of the small chunks. So I'll cook the garlic for about a couple of minutes and stir in between as necessary to avoid the garlic sticking to the pan. Now that the garlic has turned golden brown, I'll add the chopped onions, stir the garlic and the onions properly so they mix in together and turn the flame to medium high. I'll cook for about 5 to 7 minutes or until the onion turns translucent. Now I'll add salt to the mix and stir it in. Now I'll continue to add the rest of the spices one at a time. So here I've added the cayenne pepper and the turmeric powder. Now I'm adding cumin powder followed by coriander powder, curry powder, and paprika. I'll stir in all the spices together and continue to cook on medium-high flame for about a minute before we add any water to it. Now 
Now I'm adding one fourth cup of water to avoid the spices from burning due to high heat. I'll continue to cook for about five minutes now. Stirring occasionally as needed. As you can see, the water has dried out and the oil has separated from the mix. Now we are ready to add our sardine into the pan. We'll add all the sardine along with the tomato sauce in the can. We'll now mash the sardine with our spatula. You could pre-mash the sardine if you want to, but sardine has a very strong smell, so I like to avoid any skin contact with sardine before it has been properly cooked. It's a very soft fish and you could very easily mash it with using your spatula. I'll turn the flame to medium now and continue cooking sardine for about five minutes and continue stirring in between as needed. You don't want the fish to burn. So after about five minutes, once the sardine has been half cooked, I'm adding the grated potato to it and turn the flame to medium low and continue to cook. I'll cook for about 8 to 10 minutes on medium low flame. Once you notice that the sardine and the potato mix have reduced in amount and the oil has separated from the mix, it means the cooking part is done. Now we'll add the green chilies to it and put the flame to low and continue cooking for about a minute so the aroma of the green chilies spreads all throughout the mix. After about a minute, I turn the flame off and right away spread the chopped cilantro all over the sardine while it's still hot and ready to absorb the fresh cilantro smell. Now I'll use my spatula to mix the cilantro in. Now it's all cooked and ready to serve. You could enjoy it with some white rice, chapati or pita bread. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.